Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining me back into uh, my YouTube. Uh, this is me, Dion. I'm Alan Cook. And there's the Mona Lisa on the left. Me, Dion's on the right. And in the middle is the Battle of Ad Adjuria. I pronounced it right. Not too good of a speller or whatnot, but I tell you, I'll, I'll look it up and try to make it right. I don't have to look it up because it's written. But anyway, I want to show you the flaming Mona Lisa with the Battle of Al Angeria. And uh, I will stick this right here, click here, and let you know that this painting is the me. Dion, the elder Mona Lisa, and this painting is the Mona Lisa, as the world knows, and this is the sketch of the um, Battle of Angeria. If I pronounced it right, and apologize if, uh, if I offend anybody. Um, anyway, uh, here we go that I'm going to overlay this particular piece, and I'll, I'll get back to what size this image is. I call it the Flaming Mona Lisa, as you can see before we start. It has a general face of a person and another face and another face. But all these little trinkets makes this big face and it goes on and on. He's a microscopic dot, like uh, worse than pixels. So I'm gonna overlay this here and I'm gonna put it right because they show up better in certain areas. And I better just move it just a hair. I must have bumped something. And uh, you will see, here's the L arm, okay? I'm gonna pull it down. There's the L arm. Now I'm gonna pull it back. Here's the L arm. Now I'm gonna hold it right here. This is his arm. Now he blanks out because that's going to be another image in here that goes with another. But he lets you know where some of the corner points are when he matches. So he, that's how he gets so many images in it. But you'll also see that when you pull this down, you'll see this face. And this face is fit, is fitting right here into this body see and he he uh, he gives you a second point so if you actually watch and you line this up the arm even goes with the 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 angles so this most likely uh, is a image that is going to be very difficult for me to try to to uh, make it work because I could only slide across. That's about my greatest cheating talent of <laughs> doing on a photo photo uh, uh, program and to try to get it kind of semi-transparent. But you can see how it lies in here in some of the images and and the, and the horse. You get the horse's head and how it moves. Well, the reason why. As you see, see there's the horse here and the horse here, and they're they're buttoned together. And the reason why there's a variation between all these, why is it here and spread out, is because he makes it do this. Back to the television. For those who are following, I thank you. Uh, uh, what he makes it do is something similar like this you know you just don't fight straight across you don't fight just this you fight like every way you know so that's why this particular one is more difficult for me to try to uh, explain like the woman that uh, was pointing and I showed you in the last supper uh, she generally shifted her hips and blinked her eyes and went across well, as you know, this horse is going to be moving. It just isn't a still. If you want to make it a non-still and you want action in your uh, painting, as he did, uh, he's going to um, uh, give those particular areas where you move them around to end up end with your movie. And uh, he, uh, 
not only that, he was uh, insanely smart. I, I, the best way I can think of trying to put it. So, um, when you move this across, oh, this, <laughs> we got this tail, oh, it's got the S, lines up here. See? And the reason why it flips on down and why it goes through here, because he lightens it up because it gets lightened up. But, don't forget, it's moving. So, let me show you. See? You can see the tail matches 100% and goes across and down in here. That means you have a starting point when you hunt like I am. So you got to you find you find something that seems to be a little more pronounced, or say thank you, Leo, for giving me a sign. And then you 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 place your item and try to match that one item. And then you try to find where the next points match. And here's the tail. But let's see when we move this. Here's the arm. Let's see if he made the arm this time. Okay. Now I'm going to hold it here. Here's supposed to be the angle. I'm going to put it right on the dot. There it is, right on the dot corner. So, so this this isn't just it. Now let me let me try to explain one more thing here. If you pull this down and you enlarge this even a little bit more, or even try to leave it as the same, you can go up here with it, and you will see that the swords will line up in the channels and and how they move and you'll wonder how are they moving you can ask to ask leo but you can see there's a crisscross of colors going across here so that means there's a variation of these swords going you know here's my uh sound effects here but uh that's why there's a difference in the um uh, span but he will still allow you to know that that is true because of uh, when you stop it in the one particular spot, you have from uh, point A to point B or, 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 or so, y'all have his hand maybe line up identically into the fist area and you pull it on down and you find out his hands right exactly in that fist area. See, I, I didn't even plan that. I mean, it's just, it just becomes starting to come natural with him. And if you actually look, you see how this is got a pre-bent here? Now that's another explorer. You take a look, here's a pre-bent. This one's larger, but that's gonna be a movement. So what you do is you come on over and you go over to here and then you have to, you say, okay, now he's in a different position. Of course, there's a horse there too. So you take it and you shrink it down a little and then you pull it, pull it on up, and then you still have to do a little more. And it's a lot of work to set this up for you guys. You guys ought to give me a bonus or something in a sense of uh, get me going on a, on a, what, what's that? Uh, Go fund me. I I can I can use some uh, extra funds if anybody uh, is smarter smarter enough to figure out how to do it. See how that moves? See? I'm still even going to go a little bit more, but there's a there's a movement of the arm deal that he gives you on the fight. And you can see how the head flows in between this and then the arm flows in between this. Now, just because this is his arm, you can see how it gives a look of a horse. If you blow these things up, you will see that he has hidden into windows and, and items within it. So uh, it looks for me to see to be some horses in here. I'm kind of wondering if I shrunk it down some more, if they light up a little, yeah, they do. See, it's it's it's, it's almost like high, high and go see. Uh, you go around and you keep looking for your images. And if you can see, here's his leg and how it goes. 
and how you put this up in here and he fits in this black perfectly see and that's why there's a movement but it actually just because it's within the black he gives you a, a, a bonus you know that this red is also doing it and you know that this is following so if you continue He's got a lot of movement going in this. He's got some fighting going, but it doesn't stop there. I've seen where it started on the page and went clearly off the page. And before my time runs out, let me just show you where this, this, this particular dot is. This dot of this whole image of, of this flaming Mona Lisa is so particularly small, it is a approximately right there so this this man is the genius beyond genius is that people want to know why the Mona follows you across the room because she does and there's a lot more to it I have massive I can't get all this in on such a short time 15 minutes I I, I need a hundred and fifty trillion minutes and then I might get five percent in I mean, there's a lot here, and I may be a poor study or a poor teacher or an explainer, but I promise I'm going to try to be better than what I was in the beginning, and if not, at least I give it a good shot. I'm going up the bat, win, lose, or draw, and I'm asking for you guys' blessings. I want you to say your blessings. I want to bless the whole world and the universe and the heavens. Amen. Thumbs up. Thank you.